such a mom with my smoothie my hair is i don't even know what's going on with my hair but yeah good morning it is may 10th and it is a monday currently i'm just out walking bella you can't see her in the shot but let me call her and see bella come here come here look say hi to the camera <laughs> she's so cute yeah we're just out on a nice walk it is so beautiful out despite me having my winter jacket on you know me i love to be really warm but i'm definitely taking that off later in the day look bella look <laughs> she's so cute but yeah i'm babysitting her for like the a month it's um dylan's aunt's dog and i literally treat her like my own i love her with all my heart and yeah so I hope everyone's having a great day so far. We'll see what I get up to. I was just kind of feeling like in a vlog mood today, you know? Bella's favorite treat. <gasps> Sit. Paw. Thank you. Other paw. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. I'm done my workout, did an hour counseling session, which was very lovely, and I am dressed kind of very, um, didn't feel like doing that much today. I'm not wearing any makeup. Got my sunscreen on, a nice green oversized crew neck with my um, Lee jeans on, which I always wear because they're my absolute favorite. And the sun is absolutely gorgeous today. I'm gonna go visit my friend, my soul sister, my bestie, Roxy. I'm so happy. And I think I'm gonna grab a snack before I leave, but we'll see. Look how beautiful my roses are coming along. My little flower windowsill, so cute. My jade plant is growing like absolute crazy. It's like so tall when I got it, it was like this short. And we have this little guy, which I need to fix him in his pot because he's kind of tilting sideways. I think I need to get a new pot for that one. Um, my baby cacti is also growing so tall. When I got him, he was like maybe down to there. This one is not doing great. I've, I'm trying to revive it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, not doing as good. But I'm so happy with my little roses. Look at them, they're so beautiful. Roxy just went in to um, get me a bowl of water to soak my nails, but yeah, we are just having a little cute chat and we are painting our nails her backyard is so cute and it looks off the humber river which is so nice look who it is she's doing her nails too with oh you can see them here 
She's not done yet, but. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I had such a lovely time at Roxy's house. I am back at home now. It, as you can tell by my red nose, it, it was getting really chilly outside. So I didn't stay for too long. Plus I had to um, come home to let Bella out. But yeah, I didn't paint my nails because it took so long to do the cuticle thing. And oh my God, look, my finger's bleeding. <laughs> but we had a great catch up. It was so nice to see her. She literally lives down the road, but because of COVID and stuff, we haven't really like hung out in person. So we only really like text and like social media socialize. So yeah, it was so good to see her. I feel so happy and we have so many plans for the summer, which I'm so excited about. And currently I have a muffin in my toaster oven. Yesterday I made some muffins which some blueberry muffins and they're so good and I just put them in the freezer and then when I want a snack I just pop it in the toaster oven and yeah I think I'm gonna paint my nails she let me borrow these two green nail polishes so I'm obsessed with them they're like they're pretty much the same color but they're different brands so she told me to try both out and see how it goes so I think I'm gonna do that. It is 5 p.m. already. This day has flew by. And I'm gonna start dinner later. And yeah. <sighs> Tomorrow's my first day of school. I'm taking one class in the summer. I literally just remembered, like you guys just watched me have a light bulb go off in my head because I was about to say like I'm bored and I don't really know what to do, but I like that thought just came in my head. I'm like, well, tomorrow you won't be bored because you'll have school to do. So love that. Guys, it, it literally should be illegal to be this cold in May. Like I just took a warm bath and I come outside and it's kind of raining and I'm literally in my huge winter jacket and it's cold but I'm kind of confused because like everyone around me is wearing hoodies and I'm like how are you wearing hoodies even on my way home from Roxy's house people are wearing short sleeves and I'm like okay there's no way that like it's actually supposed to be like this like you know what i mean like i'm not that cold but i even asked dylan's dad i was like do you find it cold outside he's like yeah it's actually so chilly out and i'm like then why the hell are people outside with short sleeve shirts on and i'm in this honestly i have no idea anymore i swear this whole entire vlog is just going to be me walking bella but this is what a vlog is, is it not? Like what you do in your day? Like this is legit all I do. I walk the dog three times a day. You guys caught me on a good day actually because I literally don't socialize with friends. And what else have I even put in this vlog so far? Like I'm kind of concerned. Let me think. We went on our walk. Oh, I worked out. How exciting. I ate lunch, went to Roxy's, and now I'm walking the dog again. That's so funny. Yo, I look like Rudolph. So I might have to refilm this like a hundred times. But 
I didn't finish vlogging yesterday. It is now the next day. I just wasn't feeling it. I was like exhausted. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not vlogging. But we are on the way to the orthodontist. And I decided to venture out on my own and, you know, work on that character development, self discovery, independent life. So we're just waiting for the bus. And it's kind of chilly out. And I have to bring my board, which is kind of annoying. I didn't want to drag it around. But I um, was going to be late if I didn't ride my board because I decided last minute that I wasn't going to Uber because I wanted to save money. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but, you know, we're besties, so... got to my orthodontist but I'm kind of 20 minutes early so I'm just sitting here at some like random apartment building lobby hoping that I don't get in trouble because it's kind of like a bougie area in Toronto and I don't know if someone's gonna come down and be like um ma'am what are you doing but I don't know that's kind of picky so I also thought that this would be a perfect time to talk about just like how important it is to spend time by yourself and like teach yourself to love your own company if you maybe struggle with that. I know that sometimes um, I get into moods where I don't want to be by myself or I want to be by myself completely and with anxiety sometimes it may be hard to venture out by yourself and that is completely fine. And I'm here to remind you that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Your anxiety is, all it is, is just the thoughts. You were 100% in control of all your thoughts. And one day at a time. Be easy on yourself. And yeah, it's so easy to think that everyone's so perfect and no one feels the same way as you. But I know that by me sharing my experience and my personal feelings it will at least reach one person and if it does then that makes me really happy to hear and yeah you are not alone mental health is real anxiety is real and uh yeah all we can do is take one day at a time and i promise you that once you get past the wall of your anxious thoughts there is a whole entire world to explore and some days are hard, some days are easy, but try to live in the present and enjoy all of it. And you want to know what? Enjoy the fucking bad days. Like, who says that we have to mope and be upset when we have, like, a bad day with our mental health? If anything, we can look at it as growth and just a part of our journey of healing. Also, I love how I'm talking about, like, such an important topic while the construction man is, like, banging on the sign. Like, this is not a good vibe for this conversation, but I just feel like we need to talk about that. And I need to address that, you know? No matter... Oh my god, I'm like a mess right now. My nose is red. Okay, I swear to God, I always have to address my nose being red, but guys, it's cold out, and I'm sorry that my nose is red. Can you tell it's like one of my insecurities that when it's cold, my nose gets so red? We all know what? I love myself, right? So we're just gonna ignore that. Also, yeah, it's really hard to um, talk in any vlog in Toronto because there's construction going on 24-7 everywhere you go so you honestly get what you get and I hope that the construction didn't ruin the vibe or mess up my aesthetic <laughs> ew that's so cringe anyways I'm gonna go to my ortho appointment now I don't know if I'm gonna film in there because I've never done that before we'll see how I feel I might feel a little cringe but
back at home now from the orthodontist and I thought I would give you a little update on my teeth. They're getting so straight. As you can see, see that like hanging thing? That I'm sorry if that's gross, but that's just like an elastic. And they're pulling my adult tooth from my gum down. Sorry, this could be like really triggering. Maybe I shouldn't put this in the vlog. But yeah, I'm very happy. Today they just like put a tighter elastic here to pull it down and they um did some tightening i guess you would call it but yeah i'm in bed with my lamb my cabbage patch at all and i'm gonna do schoolwork because today is my first day of school for the summer chorus and i'm going to edit tonight's video that's gonna go up so, um I'm uploading what I eat in a day video because I put it on my Instagram and that's what you guys wanted so yeah just kind of chilling and I'm gonna grab some lunch soon maybe watch some YouTube or just you know chillax today's my day off and tomorrow I go back to work so We'll